Hi viewers, Purple Celery here. Welcome back to my channel and to my slightly belated review of Rogue, which is episode 6 of series 14 slash season 1 of Doctor Who. So where do I begin with this episode? I think I'll start with the actual title, Rogue. So obviously the dictionary definition of Rogue is a villain or a scoundrel. And in the cold open to this episode, I thought that the rogue um, that the title referred to would be Lord Barton, either before or after he was um, possessed by the alien villain. But then rogue can also mean somebody who breaks away from their group or society and goes off on their own to do dangerous things. I mean, the Doctor himself is a rogue Time Lord, so I did wonder if the title would eventually refer to the Doctor himself. Of course, as it turned out, the title Rogue ended up referring to the Bounty Hunter and the Doctor's love interest in this episode, which I will get to in just a sec. Just going back a step, this episode looked as though it was going to be your standard Doctor Who historical episode. You had the beautiful, lavish period set piece. You had the Doctor and his companion arrive there, exploring, having some fun, checking it out, and then some nasty aliens show up. But Rogue turned out to be a bit more than just your bog-standard historical drama. At first, Ruby's comments of, oh my Bridgerton, came off as kind of jokey, but they did hint at something deeper. That is, that the villains of this episode, the uh, Chalder, I think they were called, were, were actually there in 1813 because they were fans of the show Bridgerton and they just wanted to do some cosplay. Incidentally, I loved how Russell T Davies um, made the villains cosplayers. It was like a bit of a cheeky dig at the many Doctor Who fans who do like to dress up as the Doctor. I also thought that it was refreshing to have villains who do evil things, not because they want to, for example, seize power or take revenge, but simply because they want to have fun and they don't care who they hurt in the process. Now on to the romance, and I totally get that this is going to be controversial. Russell T Davies actually went there. We had the Doctor, a male Doctor, develop an attraction towards another young, young looking male character, culminating in a same-sex kiss. But you know what, to me this isn't really anything new, at least not in the um, Doctor Who reboot since uh, 2005 onwards. Because let's face it, we have had the Doctor fall in love before. We've like had him kiss other people before. For example, the 10th Doctor fell in love with Madame Pompadour. And he also married Queen Elizabeth I. And we also had the 11th and 12th Doctors have a, a thing going with River Song. So to me, romance in Doctor Who, at least new post-2005 Doctor Who, shouldn't be controversial. It, it shouldn't be new. The only difference in this episode, Rogue, was that it was a same-sex romance and it was a bit more overt, I suppose, than what we're used to. Um, I get that we had 13 and Yaz um, in the last series of Doctor Who, but apart from like a few conversations about Yaz's feelings towards the Doctor, nothing really happened between them, so I'm kind of not, not counting that. In this case, I thought that Rogue was a worthy suitor for the Doctor. He, he matched the Doctor. He was um, a brave, clever, ambitious person who had his own cool-looking spaceship. I would have liked to have known a bit more about Rogue. For example, um, how old he was, um, what, what species he was, where he came from, who his boss was. Because as a bounty hunter, he was clearly working for someone. He was going to get paid by somebody. So who that somebody was, I wish that we would have known. But maybe we're going to find out in a future episode. I hope so. There were other little things that I really enjoyed about this episode. For example, the use of modern pop songs um, played on Regency era instruments in like a Regency era style. For example, Poker Face in the library scene where Ruby was, was battling against the Chalder who'd taken over Emily's body. And speaking of faces, I also loved um, how Ruby saw through the Doctor putting on a brave face at the end. And she was like, you know, come on Doctor, don't do this, you know. That was very, very sweet. 
The episode wasn't without its flaws. Um, for example, that end bit where Rogue kind of crash tackles Ruby and he knocks her off the triangle red zony thing and, and takes her place. I mean, how did he do that? I mean, it was pretty well established that she was stuck fast to the triangle bit and she couldn't move off it. So I just didn't quite get how Rogue was able to take her place so easily. On a more minor note, I also thought the character of the, um, I can't remember her name, it was the lady who was hosting the ball uh, before she was um, killed and then taken over by the uh, Cholder. I found her character a little bit inconsistent. Um, initially she was, um, she came across as very open-minded for that era. She was um, sort of taking Ruby, um, a stranger, under her wing. She laughed when Ruby insulted Lord Barton and, and let's be real here because what Ruby said to Lord Barton was what would have absolutely have been insulting um, in, in 1813 but the hostess just was sort of like you know laughing behind her fan but then she like goes out the side and sees the housekeeper who has the temerity to be taking a breath of fresh air when there's a ball going on and she kind of goes off at the housekeeper and um yeah look I just thought that was a bit inconsistent a minor point but still a bit inconsistent Overall, though, I enjoyed Rogue. I thought that it was a fun and clever episode. I would give this 8 out of 10, but I do appreciate that it's probably going to be quite a polarising episode. But, as always, these are just my thoughts. I would love to hear what you guys thought about the episode. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you think that the Doctor should never, ever, ever... Um, get involved in a romantic situation regardless of the gender of the other person. Um, please leave your comments in the comment section below. Please give this video a like if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see everybody next week. Until then, take care. This is Purple Celery, over and out.